What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. This is gonna be a quick tutorial setup guide uh, for UEVR and Oblivion VR Remastered. It is a plugin, it's not an official port, it is a mod. So again, it is not everything's gonna be perfect and it require a little bit of a setup, but they made it here pretty simple. And there's a whole Discord community if you have any questions or any, you need any help, you can always comment in this video or other creators videos or con uh, comment on the Discord. A lot of people will help you, but the best bet is for you to go on Discord. But let's get ahead and get started. So when you go ahead and join the Discord for flat to vr uh, there's going to be a lot of messages. You're not going to really know where, where you want to go. So what you're going to do, so what you're going to do is go down. You're going to scroll all the way down here on the left-hand side. You're going to see where it says UE Games, and then you're going to select that. It's going to pop up this window. You're going to click on Oblivion, and it's going to take you to the Oblivion chat. So the best bet what you can do after this is you're going to lose uh, the pin messages. So we're going to do the top right corner, obviously press the three dots, go to pin messages and click on that. So this is going to be where you're going to be living at. Let me move the screen here a little bit. Okay, there we go. This is where you're going to get all the information, um, all the, the updates, anything that's crucial or important, everything else in the chat, uh, you might get you might get confused and overwhelmed. So just follow this. So what you're going to do is you're going to download the nightly version of 1046 for the UEVR. So you're going to download that, download. And it's going to take you to GitHub. So uh, unless it, or if it takes you to GitHub, you can look at other versions. But you're going to want to download 1046 because there are some other things that are built for 1046. Uh, and then after that, you're going to, you, there's going to be some, you know, they'll have the tutorial here. There'll be some other things that you can look at. Uh, the next big thing you want to focus on is these files right here. So if you're using the Game Pass version, you want to download, which I am, uh, you're going to download the Win G, the Win GDK. If you're using Steam, Win64, download th that file. Uh, if you have two files, if you have like, you want it for both, you could do it for both. But um, And then the last thing you're going to do is download this script file. It helps performance a little bit. Um, if you don't want to, you don't have to, but I would recommend downloading this. Um, I already have these set up, but I'll show you how to get us to set this up. Um, there are some things that I read through here that help a lot in terms of controls um, and and setting things up. Some some facts information you might want to know. Uh, I would take the time to probably read a little bit uh, if you're running to some issues or after you try a little bit, you kind of have an idea how things work. Let me let me improve this experience a little bit. But once you download those files, is what you're gonna do next. So you're going to download, actually download this several times. You're going to extract the file, press right click, extract all, open the file, and then download and install install the UEVR injector. Make sure it's the, uh, the correct nightly version that's mentioned in the Discord. Once you get it you know, installed and downloaded, you're going to launch it, and then it's going to ask you to restart it as administrator. You always want to relaunch it in administrator. Boom, done. Here we go. Okay. If you are using Steam, you want to use uh, OpenVR. Um, everything else for Quest, you want to use OpenXR. I feel like, I think in virtual desktop, they said use OpenVR. Because when I did launch it, it's gonna, it told me to select it. It'll tell you if you have the correct one or not. But if you're using Cable Link or anything, make sure you're using OpenXR. For Steam VR, you want to do OpenVR. Uh, so what you're going to do here is you're going to launch the game. What you want to do next, uh, depending on what uh system you're running it on you want to press play and you'll launch the game what you're going to recommend what i recommend you doing to is set up your vr headset in advance uh plug it in for for quest and everything make sure it's all running and go it that way so that way when you are wanting to launch the game you, uh, and play in vr just press the correct inject button and then there you go so once you have it up and running, what you want to do is press open global directory. It'll pull up the file explorer for you where the profile is for UEVR. And you're going to drag and drop that either that Win64 or the GDK file into the correct into this folder. So once you imported the this file, the GDK or the 64, you're going to open it up and you're going to click and drag this user script. I already have it in there. Um, that one helps overall performance of the game. I I recommend it. I did it. Other people have recommended it. I had pretty good experience. So click and drag and throw it in there. Boom, that's it. You're done. Then what you want to do is uh, click inject. Once that's done, boom, it's going to take some time. It's going to flicker a little bit. 
and that's it so now this this right here you can adjust uh from the desktop or in vr you press the two thumbstick buttons to make any adjustments that you want uh, the one I utilize a lot uh, in, in game, I'm always, I'm always recentering everything. Sometimes I'm, when I'm standing, I kind of go all over the place. You can, uh, there's a setting here to, if you want to go to advanced settings, which show, show, show advanced options, you can mess everything you want. There's a lot, and there's a lot of configurations and everything that you could do. Uh, sometimes uh, if I have some issues going on, I just reinitialize uh, uh, the, the VR plugin and it just, it re-inject itself into it if I'm running into an issue. That's a little tip that you can use. Um, for input, there's a setting somewhere here in order to adjust, where did I see it? To adjust which one is uh, your main, your main um, hand. Where is it? I was there. Oh, left-handed control input. So if you're left-handed, it's right here. You can select it for left-handed control inputs. Uh, and that's it. That's pretty much it, guys. I mean, there's not really not much more I can go over. Um, this this thing is ever evolving. There's gonna be new settings, new improvements. So be on the lookout for that kind of stuff from everyone online. And follow that Discord, Flat to VR, if you're not already. That's where you get all your information from and everything you need to know about the game. But that's about it, guys. Take care and peace.